you have question ask me then in this way you will learn it do you, do you remember the previous steps or I explain again uh, explain I will summarize it again uh, do you remember uh, we wanted to solve advection uh, dispersion equation for advection uh, we said that we, uh, um, we are going to use uh, Apollo and Postama method for uh, solving the equation and because of that uh, uh, Apollo and Postama make the equation in two steps at first uh, uh, and we give, give this example if it is our river and uh, this is at t uh, zero we have all the concentration in all points and we want to know it after two seconds if uh, delta t is two seconds after two seconds or after half, uh, um, half second or any uh, how much would be at first we apply advection on the result on the uh, initial value we will get to some some data and on this new data we will apply dispersion equation so we will the final um, uh, data at t equals delta t plus delta t and uh, for solving it in uh, excel uh, and and we said that for advection uh, uh, Apollo and Postama use a method uh, and a modification. You will give the delta x and you said that how many times it takes that uh, because you have the velocity, how many it, uh, times it takes that the uh, cell number one move to cell number two. Do you remember this thing? So uh, you can calculate delta t equals uh, delta x divided by velocity. So in Apollo and Postama, delta t is not under the control of u. The only delta x is under the control of u because delta t should be calculated because delta t must be in a way that in each time step we move from one cell to another cell and it makes easier for us. And in Excel, it was easy. We, we had Uh, this is the uh, x if delta x is 1 meter so 1 meter 2 meter and this is t0 the value of uh, in t0 in the example that we had we had a flume that the pollution uh, enter from the uh, from the uh, outside uh, from the up, up, um, upside and it moves toward downside so upward it was 1 ppm and the other points are zero this is the initial condition of our equation for doing advection we only need to move the cells one downward yes this one should come to here yes so we only copy and paste one cell downer but uh, i modified it instead of copy and paste I give, uh, I put an equation here and I told that here it is equals this point with this uh, definition. You see, I put it H4. So it, uh, it will be much easier later. It is not necessary every time I do copy and paste. Now it has a, for, a formula. If I copy it in the other part, also it shift one down, so because we want to sh have one shift. And we know that the upper part always is one, because the in, uh, we are um, uh, entering the um, um, pollutant from the upper stream continuously. Yes, so always we have here uh, one. Okay, uh, so I make it easier uh, and all these cells have this formula, you see. The other cell also has H5, you see one cell down there. This is for advection and for dispersion, for dif diffusion dispersion, uh, now after we add advection, we should uh, apply on these data the diffusion equation. Okay, 
So we applied this form formulation on, on it. This is how we write the program in the MATLAB, but we, we want to write it in uh, Excel. I should choose the point. This uh, for formula for uh, at why it is not completely Do you see? Oh, yeah. This is a, a formula uh, that we talked about it uh, yesterday for calculating the um, new concentration for point 2 until point n minus 1. Do you, do you remember? Uh, do you want, uh, if you, it is not clear, tell me that I showed the slide that how we calculate. Uh, mm, the I show it. Okay. This is uh, our initial condition, okay, and we want to calculate uh, the dispersion, effect of dispersion on the cell at T plus delta T. So we, we must calculate uh, the concentration in the uh, T plus delta T with the aid of our initial values of concentration at T. We, we had this equation, yes, we had this equation and we said that we should use finite difference for uh, it and but we did not go in uh, detail because this is a course, uh, you should, uh, I, uh, as you all are, uh, are interested in water quality, I uh, uh, encourage all of you to take course uh, about numerical methods in uh, water science. Maybe the name of the course is different in different universities, but the courses such as, such as CFD, numerical mod, uh, modeling, um, uh, numerical methods in water science, or um, uh, all of these uh, uh, courses, or computational fluid uh, dynamics, it's uh, different in different universities. Uh, or even you can use the books that I introduce to you. You can see what is the finite difference. The aim of finite difference is to convert a continuous equation to a discretized form. Uh, from a continuous, you, you make the uh, finite differential equation uh, uh, apply to some points instead of a curve. Because when you have this equation, it is continuous. Because this is, you know the uh, definition of derivation. It's delta t, delta y divided by delta x uh, when delta x goes towards zero. Do you remember the definition of derivation? Do you remember? No? You don't know what is derivation? dA y divided by dA x, you know. Is dA y divided by dA y you are not familiar with this equation of course you had it in the mathematics yes so the difference between this one and this one without limitation I mean is that this is for continuous form because the delta x is zero but this is for when we have some grids, okay? Uh, the aim of finite difference is that 
convert this one to this one to this form and we have several uh, things and several methods we should because we should consider that the numerical model become consistent but usually for the second order uh, we use uh, central different uh, uh, central uh, different which is like this and for the uh, usually for the time we use backward difference for um, order 2 and especially concentration we use central difference and for the time we usually use backward difference when we say backward backward difference it means that for a uh, uh, for calculating concentration in a, uh, sorry we compare the concentration in each point with the previous point. You see, C i nu minus C i. We compare the nu with the previous one. This is backward difference. Central difference, we calculate uh, we, uh, when we are in this point, we use both points uh, uh, at the back and uh, um, after that we use bo um, uh, both of them to calculate the center one so it is central difference we use this point the, the after and the previews to calculate so it would be like this c i and nu minus c i divided by delta t it is for this one for uh, we already done advection so we only have this version for this version, we make this as a central difference. Ci plus 1 minus 2 Ci plus Ci minus 1 divided by delta x power 2. Yes? So, in this equation, all parameters are cleared. Delta t is clear. Ci is clear. Yes? Because this is the concentration in time t, which is uh, initial condition or from the previous step. Ci plus 1 and Ci minus 1 again is clear. So the only uh, unknown concentration is this one. So we can calculate it with this formula. If I reorder these as uh, based on Ci and nu, we will reach to this equation. Therefore, we can calculate C i nu in each point easily. But there is a problem. Uh, uh, before I say the problem, for example, for 2, for point 2, in the, the new concentration in point 2, uh, we can calculate it based on the t, uh, uh, in, based on the concentration at the time t. And we need point 1, point 2, and point 3 to calculate this one. You can see if I equals 2, so we need C2, C1, and C3. So we need C1, C2, and C3 to calculate this one. Therefore, for point 2 until po uh, point n minus 1, we have no problem. We can easily calculate all the concentration with this formula. Yes? Is it clear completely? We have on only problem for this point, for the point 1 and fourth point n that we cannot calculate it for point one because we know that the uh, entrance is always one so we can assume that the concentration in the previous cell which is not anything we can assume that this is one yes the constant it is equal to the uh, initial concentration because if we consider a river and here is the entrance so we can assume that uh, one point uh, upward also again is this concentration because we have no other concentration so we can assume here again one and we and use the same equation for that only for c when when we want to calculate the point number one uh, we, we will use number two we have it, number 1, and for number 0, for the point, uh, because C1 when, um, minus 1 would, would be C0. For C0, we will use C in, 
which is 1 ppm, the con uh, initial concentration. But for the uh, last point, he used another technique. What he used? Uh, he, uh, he used backward difference again. Because we don't have three point, instead of central difference, he, this book uh, um, suggests that it is better to use backward difference. And the backward difference is similar to this one that we used for time. Do you remember the backward difference? We said this one minus this one divided by delta t. So here also it would be c n minus 1 minus n uh, divided by delta t, which uh, finally becomes like uh, this uh, equation. We don't use central difference. We use uh, forward difference. Sorry, this is forward difference because this is n minus 1 at first. Okay, uh, so now you know the, uh, how this uh, Excel file should be completed. You see, so from point 2 until n minus 1, we use 1 formula. For point 1, we use the same formula, only we change this ci minus 1 to ci n or one, uh, concentration 1. And for uh, C2, no, uh, the point number n, we use this equation for solving the uh, equation. We are here. Here I assumed uh, the Newman number 0 0.3 and I applied this equation, uh, you know, for uh, calculating this, we need this one, which is minus 2 multiplied by E5, we need this one, E4, and this one, E6, and also the point itself, so we can calculate the concentration here. For all uh, cells from 2 till n minus 1, we have the same values, yes? Uh, I mean the same equation. So we copy, uh, copy this equation to all equation. You already work with uh, Excel. You know when you copy a formula and paste it to another cell, the formula will copy it and, and these, uh, these uh, address are relative address. So when you copy and paste it, then to the this point, then again it uses this three point. So automatically, um, Excel understand what we need and what we want, and he do it. For the first point and for the end point, we will use these two equation to calculate uh, this one. Um, uh, my suggestion is that at first you do the same things that I have done. Then you will learn. But uh, later that on, I will give a new example, and then uh, uh, because that the initial condition change a little bit, then you will uh, uh, we will be sure that you understand the com concept completely because you can now solve a new uh, situation. If the concentration is in the middle of the river, what would be happen? And for this, the first example. I want to do it one time with uh, Newman 0 0.3 and the other time with Newman 0 0.5 to compare. Uh, if New Newman 0 0.5 also uh, solve it easily or not. So start to do it. Now you have the formula and if you have, and uh, sorry, but with this new relative uh, address that I have done, now it is very easy. For example, uh, you know, this is my first step, yes, this is the second time, and this is the third delta t, yes, 
that is the third delta t, delta t1, delta t2, because each delta t needs two calculation, one for advocation, one for diffusion or dispersion. So, uh, we uh, till now I forward three delta t and with this new relative um, address, it's, uh, it is only you should for the fourth one, I need only do this, copy copy like this and paste here and now everything done automatically and th now this is 4 because in this way uh, you, you see advection also uh, work very well this one shift one time down because I give the address for advection this one and for this point I gave it this one equals to this one so it automatically goes one and this one is always one so I put it one it has no formula always the first point is one and the diffusion we already put the formula so you will see what happened and now I only need to You see, and it is done automatically, easily. It's very fast. And uh, if I want to <coughs> see in one point, how is the cha concentration changed during time? Uh, let me, I do it much more. You only need uh, to make a copy and in a new sheet we will copy oh no you should paste it uh, as a uh, only values not formula because we want to do some change because uh, these uh, cells are not useful for us these advections these are only for calculation uh, up to see the effect of advection we need only the final version to have a final result we need to delete these advections So this is T3, T4, and 
And if I want to see how is the change, for example, in 12 meter, this is 12 meter. In 12 meters, how is the uh, con concentration ch change in the point 12 in the river uh, in different times? So it's only needed that I cop check um, co uh, select these cells because it is the uh, concentration change in different time in po uh, 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 in the point number 12. And this is the curve. It shows that how is change in the concentration in different point uh, in, dif in different time in point number twelve. Here, uh, it, uh, uh, until the time uh, delta t eight, because our delta t is not clear now because we only gave uh, um, zero point three. Yes, uh, for uh, Newman and the Newman is. Differential, uh, sorry, dispersion coefficient multiplied by delta t divided by delta x, but mm, power two. But we didn't define any delta t and delta x. In real, we have velocity and everything, and then we calculate delta t and delta x. So please uh, do this one for Newman number two and Newman number ten. Then I will explain other things later. And uh, and the same also we can. Uh, see in different delta e, uh, for example 8 second or in, in delta t8 how is the change in the uh, concentration in the one point in in to, uh, for example i want to know uh, i want to know after 15 delta t after 15 delta t how is the concentration change in all over the river yes so i only need to select and after 15 delta t in the river we have such a concentration change. Here we didn't re the pollutant didn't reach yet, reached yet, but uh, and you know because we have a constant uh, entrance of the pollutant in uh, in the entrance, so we have here uh, constant one, and this is the effect of the dispersion and advection, as you see. And if I want to check this one, uh, with, uh, I want to, for example, to see how is the difference between the 15 minutes uh, or 15 delta T after the injection and 20 um, delta T after the injection. Uh, if I want to see what is the difference, easily I can add another data to this ch chart. For example, 19. The red one is after 19 seconds, and the uh, blue one is after the 15 uh, delta T second. It depends on how much is the delta T. So you can see uh, it's really work well and we can uh, model the pollutant transport based on advection and dispersion only, not uh, other parameters. But the other parameters is also at one uh, to it. This is the simplest way of uh, modeling, one of the simplest way of uh, modeling of the solute uh, uh, transport. So please do it one time with uh, 0 0.3 as I did it, then you can check that your formula is good uh, or not. And I um, suggest that Instead of, um, you see, I, uh, I put uh, Newman 0 0.3 inside the cell. I uh, suggest that you write on the upward, uh, uh, up, uh, top of the, your Excel sheet, new equals 0 0.3, and then give the address to this point. Then uh, when you want to do it for 0 0.5, you only need to change 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. 
you, you need again you don't need to again make a sheet uh, and uh, different things it, it makes your work uh, much more easier so put new man uh, 0 0.3 in the outside of uh, calculation not inside the equation do you understand what i mean okay so please do it <laughs>